you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Uh, Jens, I'm just going to throw it to you. Room temperature water is borderline undrinkable. Room temperature. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I drink a lot of water. There we go. But it really depends on the temperature in the room, outside, whatever, right? Yeah. If it is hot outside, if it is reaching like 25, so like, uh, I don't know, 80, 75? Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know Fahrenheit. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, then I want my water from the fridge because usually that means that the water from the tap is not going to be cold enough for me because the water is not that cold in the just from the tap but also i want colder water but on a on a winter day like room temperature water isn't that bad it really depends for me on the outside temperature but in general if you had to choose then yes room temperature water sucks need to have have it straight from the tap if it's been there for a while you know it's still <laughs> water but i'm still throwing it away to get some fresh water okay i feel like it's a little dramatic like I, it's not I would agree, undrinkable. But hey, hey, it's it's what Yin thinks. Let's go over to Michael then. Come on. Uh, this is from Mop. We've got oh. SSG make top four at Worlds. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. Listen. Oh, no, okay. Listen. Done. Like, in, like there is a non-zero probability this happens. Um, but like bet it on, genuinely outside of like maybe like G two Falcons and mates, and I still don't feel great because you never know. Can you really predict any team to make top four? Yeah. Outside of honestly G two, I'm gonna say G two because they are the only ones that have made top two in every event. It's just tough, and there's so many good teams, and so many teams perform randomly good and bad. That's the other thing is that like, like. You know, Furia looked awful in the Swiss, barely squeaked through, and then dominated Vitality. Vitality looked great in the Swiss, and then they got a headache. One of their players got a headache, and um, and they and they and they they went four one, right? Like, you know, we've seen BDS look pretty good in in Swisses, and then just bomb out. We've seen you know teams that like G two didn't even look that good in the Swiss. They got swept by Falcons, then they mm -hmm. beat them in the final. And I, I just it's been it's the same issue I've had with Space Station for a very long time. Their, their peak level talent simply is not at the level of the other teams. So they're banking on sometimes when they get to those top eight, top four matches, the other team not playing as well. Um, there's a reason the organization hasn't won a regional since RLCSX. They're always good, never great. Um, and that's, and that's no, no slight to the players who I think have played as good as they possibly can. It's just that there's so many good teams. Like, yeah, there's yeah. four teams from Europe that are going to be competing for top four. There's a team from Mina. There's two teams from NA. Like, you know, they're the bottom half of that sort of like top eight list with yeah. with uh, BDS, uh, Gen G. Uh, like, maybe I mean, you could, I don't know. Like, it's just tough. So I'm going to say no. I don't think they're going to be there. It's their time. I think it's fair. You have some fans really disappointed uh, mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, they can. Well, I, I'll, I'll ask them. Uh, Jalen, uh, would you like a side of Seed or would you like a side of Mauled with your cope? Because I'm just giving it to you straight. <laughs> there you go. All, All right. right. I just, I'll just i give you a straight yeah. another one. There, Michael. All right. From Double Ethan. Good. Oh, intellectual. Furia Vitality is the best rivalry of this season. Yeah, undoubtedly for me. And I'll tell you why. There's a, a few a few pretty good rivalries. I think the one that everyone would come to their mind is G2 Gen G because they've just played so many times. Uh, but if I told you, like, if I told you we're gonna pick that, no, because my thing is, um, if I told you you could make sure that there was a, a a semifinal or final match at the World Championship in front of a packed crowd, which one would you want to see? I think majority of people, and I told you, you couldn't say your favorite team win the world championship. I think the majority of people would say Fury of Vitality. I think we've been G2 Gen G'd out. I think we're good with that. We don't need to see it. We will see it again in the world's final, but like we, you know, in, in Dream World, we won't see it. 
Um, and so for me, it's like, I think most people want to see that more than anything else. They want to see the Fury Ultras on one side, the Vitality Ultras on the other side. They want to see them talking crap. They want to see them jumping up, rattle bouncing, screaming, maybe throwing some, some certain signs with their hands. Um, they want to see Zen trying to fight, <laughs> right? So um, personally, I think that's the best rivalry because it's the one that's, I think most people are looking forward to watching. I think I think the only other one, honestly, I wouldn't even put Gen G G2 top two. I think the the two matchups people want to see from a rivalry perspective are Fury of Vitality, and I think people want to see Carmen Corp versus the mates because of the storylines, the fan bases, the ex players and coaches. I think that's the second best one, and I think the third one would be G2 Gen G. But like, we needed to have an alt cast to make it interesting last time. Like, you know, until that fi- World Championship final where they face off, like. We're not really gonna. We're not gonna really care about it. Really, not even a G two Carmen in there. And maybe... That's not a rivalry to me, though. Yeah, it's just it isn't. A, it's but just it could be top teams. Yeah, <laughs> it isn't. Yeah, it, it isn't. Yet. Unfortunately, <laughs> one of them forgot to make the major. Uh, yeah, because they're yeah, overrated. Yeah. But the other one won. I kind so... of. I kind of. I wouldn't mind seeing Falcon G two becoming a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing yet. That'd but it would fun. be fun. I think so. The one I think one that I would like that I I don't know if people consider it a rivalry anymore because the rosters are so different. I would actually like to see a BDS G two rematch in the final because okay. I think if G two beat BDS in the final, that becomes the defining rivalry of the open era, specifically between yeah. Monkey Moon and Atomic. They both beat each other in the world's final. They both have a major on top of it. I think you're actually looking at these are the two goats of this era. They're playing uh they're playing in different regions they have dominated for four years and then the next season becomes you know which one's gonna fall off first to be honest (laughs) Uh, because they're getting up there in age in rocket league age of course not real age they're both quite young um yeah so i I would say bdsg2 is is up there as well but fury of vitality for me there's just another level of nasty that they're hitting yeah um all right yes we'll go all the way back around um Itachi, this is from Andra, and I, this is kind of a bait. Is this for me? I don't know why I put this here. Yeah, this is for you. All right. Itachi. It's kind of a bait take, my fault. Um, Itachi's not a top five player in the world. Uh, I saw the take come by, and it got one upvote and 43 downvotes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to talk about this? Yeah, do you have to talk you, about this? The floor is yours, kid. I mean, it's a take. Uh, that, so it's, it's not getting deleted <laughs> the from the channel. All time, for sure. It's, it's one of the takes. I mean, I can see if people purely look at like mechanical abilities, you know, uh, taking a team through tough situations like that, you know, stepping up. But Itachi has done so much more than that, I would say. In, when it comes to getting teams to where they need to be, you know. So, yeah, he's a top five player. Is there any other player in Europe besides Zen that you could actually argue has been better than Itachi this season? And I'm saying argue. I don't even know if Zen's been better than Itachi this season. Um, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, Maybe one of his teammates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we're going to have to start that conversation. Yeah, 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 exactly. One was his teammates Batira maybe... carried by Itachi on Carmen Corp? That's I think maybe maybe you were can- counting out BDS a little bit too much, but they didn't really show up in London Drawley, when you needed to. Yeah. Drawley, for um, a second, people were really into him as the best player in Europe. I think all three out. players on, on BDS have a shot at it, but in their own, yeah. In their own ways, it's it's hard to say exactly where you, where you would put them. If they would have done better at London, it would have been easier. Yeah, totally, totally. If BDS but, yeah. made like top four, top two, I think we're talking about Drali as the best player in the game. All right, who do you go? All right, here we went from, from Jamari. A little format question. We love our yep. format questions. World's Swiss elimination or Swiss playoff qualification matches to be best of seven. So lower round three, upper round three. Upper oh. four and then upper round five. So to qualify to the playoffs oh. or to be eliminated, it's a seven game series, but the first two rounds and the one one round would be best of fives. No, no. I think that becomes too confusing and and I'm not even talking about from like a viewer perspective. I just think I don't know. I just think that's a 
like you have a stage of an event, but then inside that stage, you have different linked series and different, like, really even kind of rule sets around it, I guess, because, you know, the best of sevens would get timeouts. And I mean, I think it makes sense in the sense that, like, qualification and elimination is obviously more important than round one. But I think I would say no. I would prefer all of it to remain the same, either all best of five or all best of seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more bullish on them on all qualification elimination games being crowd matches than the format. I think, I think, yeah. I think that I do qualify, agree with. Yeah, I think all if the teams you're, yeah. should play in front of a crowd at Worlds at least yeah. once. That's my, I think, and no, they're not doing that this, this year, are they? Or is it round four or five maybe in front of a. I don't know. <laughs> I think I they did say a third day, and so maybe that might is. be because it's a three-day playoff bracket. Because it's a yeah, hybrid. maybe yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, this this take uh, for me is very Counter Strike coded mm -hmm. because this is what they do at the majors, which are basically worlds, if yeah. you will, for Counter Strike uh, events, where they are doing a best of one, but it's one map, so it's still like forty-five best minutes. Of 30, yeah, right, yeah. Um, they're doing a best of one for every round in Swiss, but not for the qualification and elimination matches. So the the two nil, the the nil two, um, the uh, well, all the others as well. And then of course the two two round is just completely best of three. So they're they're all best of threes in that case. And that best of one, especially when you have a map pool with every hmm. different map having a different, you hmm. know winner like a different um, favorite on it in a best of one it's really easy for a counter strike team to get upset by a team way yeah. lower in the rankings because they can just be good at one particular map and then just crush you on it and uh, so that's why it's really important to have at least the qualification and elimination matches be best of three where the pros at the top can actually shine but here it's just about is a best of five long enough is is it enough yeah. games to actually figure out consistently who is the best player and yeah yes it yeah. is yeah yeah interesting um all right who's the, who needs the last one hey going all back right, to hey. back uh, this is from Levin. Levin. Okay. yeah and so you go ahead all right team secrets go one and three at worlds So no um, round five. So Not that would getting mean getting a chance so at the top eight. They would have to outperform APAC, SSA, likely Mina 2, and one of the NA teams, or, or potentially an EU team, but... Or a, and one more, right? Because there would be five teams eliminated, two in that 0-3 round, and then three teams eliminated. Yeah, they'd have to be a top OCE eleven two. team in the world. I no, they go two and three. They go round five. I think the they they should they should outperform OCE two. They should outperform um, APAC and SSA. And I think it's fairly level between them and it's anything that is going for Mina. I think um, they're a lot better. I, but I I think here. I think I like Secret now. Um, anything has obviously had quite a bit go on in the second half of the season. They didn't perform as strong. They've got a, a newer player that probably doesn't have, you know, experience at at this level. Um, so I think I think I, I, I'll I'll say secret to round five. Yeah, I think it's going to be matchup dependent for them. Sure. If they run in like that one that one two round, if they're in it, yeah, it could be um, brutal. You know, you could play a juggernaut like Power. Mm -hmm. You know, you could play a you know a team that's pretty volatile like BDS. Um, you could you could play you know a team that probably should be out in the O2 round like Carmen Corp. So um, you know it, it'll just be matchup dependent for them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, the community was split on it as well, with 15 yeah. to 18. And I I think that's the correct answer. Is like it, it definitely could be a round four thing. If if the take was 0 and three, it's you know obviously no. Yeah. But yeah, that one in three areas where it's, there's got to be a team that's that that has a tough, 
a tough one three out and all these tournaments because there's that yeah. third tier you have like the first tier which is one to six and then you have the second tier which is like seven and nine and then you have the third tier that's like 10 to 13 yeah and that's when it's that that one of those teams can't make it to the nine nine through eleven or two of them can't so thank you for watching this segment of the shift cast again you can catch the full episode here on our youtube channel or on spotify thank you for watching